The CPAP mode provides a continuous positive pressure at the patient's opening airway. The patient can breathe spontaneously on this continuous and constant level of pressure with a certain amount of gas flow from the breathing circuit. CPAP can be used both as an invasive mode with an endotracheal tube and as a non-invasive mode with a cannula or a mask. In CPAP mode, the following parameters should be set. Flow min. Set flow to about 8 liters per minute. There is an automatic increase of flow in case of a higher demand by the patient or due to leaks. This demand flow feature will increase to a maximum of twice the preset value. CPAP. Set the CPAP pressure value depending on the clinical case. To achieve higher values of CPAP, the user has to increase the P-manual setting accordingly and then by pressing the key button he will be allowed to set an override range of CPAP settings. This is a safety to prevent unusual settings. P-manual. This allows a stimulation of the patient in case of apnea. Oxygen. O2 flush. P-manual can also be used as a sustained lung inflation maneuver with prolonged time. The maximum time for manual breathing can be adjusted in the additional settings menu by pressing the button. The maximum setting is 30 seconds. In case of apnea, the user can set a backup of a maximum sequence of 5 strokes to be delivered as a breathing stimulus to the patient. If CPAP is required as a non-invasive mode with a cannula or mask interface, the flow sensor must be turned off in the calibration menu. Flow and CPAP adjustable and automatic demand flow features an additional assistance in case of increased flow demand. Manual breath and sustained inflation are adjustable as well. The flow sensor can be removed and a non-invasive interface like a RAM cannula can be directly connected to the Y piece. If necessary, the flow may be increased to make the CPAP more effective. However, in case of non-invasive ventilation, there is no measurement of flow and volume and no apnea detection or backup is active.